Hey everyone, Dan here. Photographers shoot a lot more than just photos these days. They also shoot video and use different types of files. So Browse actually can show you your video file as well. So when you download those from your memory card or you're working on a folder on your computer that contains both photos and videos, your video files will appear in Browse along with the photos. There's a couple ways you can tell it's a video file. First off, there's a little badge right here that shows it's a video and it gives you the duration as well. You can manage those video files just like any other file. You can copy and move them, delete them, rename them. You can add metadata to them. You can view metadata that already exists. Now, keep in mind, video files have much less metadata than a photo typically does, but like on this one, I can tell it was shot with an iPhone. I can see how long it was, and I can see when it was captured. But I can still use the database that powers on one photo raw to add any metadata to it that I want to. And that metadata will actually be written to an Adobe standard XMP sidecar file. So metadata changes to video files will still go from application to application. You can also send that video file to another application to view and edit it. Now we won't play a video directly inside of photo raw, at least not today but you could right click on it and select send to another application like I've set up QuickTime Player as an external app. So when I right click and I say send a QuickTime Player, QuickTime will pop up and will play the video. That way I can make sure it's the one that I'm interested in. You could also search for video files inside of the filter pane. You can simply type in the extension into the search field or if you go down to the advanced section, you can just select object type and you can filter by photos, videos, or versions. So if I select the video option, It'll filter out everything except for the videos in the folder that I'm viewing. All right, there you go. That's browsing and managing your video files inside of On One Photo Raw. Thanks for watching.